What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Please, please, please consider subscribing if you like this video, if you like the content, if you like what I'm providing to you. Please, please, please consider subscribing. I've seen the, you know, I think I gained three, three new subscribers in the last week. I appreciate it. I see it. Thank you so much. And let's get right into the video. So, you can own Bitcoin through a few different ways. You can own it through Coinbase, you can buy it through PayPal or Square's Cash App, or you can buy this specific uh, ETF called the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust ETF. I personally own half and half. The Bitcoins that I own, uh, I own through Cash App, and I also, uh, which is a direct way of buying them, and I also own uh, through this Grayscale uh, Bitcoin Trust ETF. Now the difference is, uh, there are a few differences in the Grayscale versus buying directly from like a Coinbase or a Cash App or a PayPal uh, from this Grayscale ETF. Uh, this Grayscale ETF is not based on, see, when you, when you buy something, when you buy Bitcoin through Cash App, you're buying at the exact price of the quote of Bitcoin. And then, you know, you also have like a small percentage uh, dollar fee off of the amount of Bitcoin that you're buying, but that's only a one-time thing. Um, whenever you buy the Bitcoin Grayscale uh, ETF trust, it is not based on specifically the price of the Bitcoin. The price that you pay also includes the fees of the ETF. The ETF does not charge an expense fee or a net expense fee, a gross or net expense fee. Um, it is included in the overall price of the ETF. So right here you can actually see uh, on the Grayscale uh, Bitcoin Trust ETF website, the investment objective is to buy shares based on Bitcoin per share as indicated below and track the Bitcoin market price, less fees and expenses. And what that means, if we go down, is the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust does not concurrently operate a redemption program and may halt uh, creations from time to time. There can be no assurance of the value of shares will approximate the value of Bitcoin held by the trust. So that means that you might be buying, let's just say, um, you know, a, a, if the trust is trading at, which it was on Friday, yesterday, $50 a share, then that does not mean that you're buying $50 worth of Bitcoin. You're buying $50 uh, minus the fee or including the fees and the expenses held by the trust. You're not buying $50 worth of Bitcoin like you are on Cash App, Coinbase, or PayPal. So this is a really important disclosure to try to go over because you, you're you're paying a premium. End point, end game, end point. You're paying a premium when you buy the great grayscale Bitcoin uh, trust ETF. You're paying a premium. You're not paying the actual price based on the value of the Bitcoin. You're paying a premium because of the expenses and the fees that are also inside the trust. So that is something to take in consideration if you decide to buy uh, some of the shares of this trust. Yes, you're buying into Bitcoin. Yes, you owe, own um, you know, some Bitcoin like parts, but in reality, you own less because you're not actually, you don't actually own $50 worth. You own, you know, uh, whatever it is, um, which again includes the expenses. Um, now, one of the reasons why you might say, well, what's the point? What is the point in buying, you know, the Grayscale uh, Bitcoin Trust ETF versus just going into Cash App and buying it? Well, it actually does matter because right here they actually point out as one of the reasons why you might want to buy it is it's eligible for tax advantage accounts. You can buy shares of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust and hold them in your IRAs, whether your traditional or your Roth, or also your taxable brokerage accounts, and you can actually get tax notifications, and it might be better tax-wise uh, to buy through Grayscale rather than buying directly from the market like 
you know, uh, one of the uh, places that I mentioned before. Um, you can also see uh, it as part of your portfolio a lot better than um, than you would like a cash app. A cash app, you have to go into that app, but in this case, you can actually buy you know Bitcoin as part of your actual portfolio in your investment accounts. It's a less, uh, less hassle way of buying Bitcoin, even though you're buying it at a premium. Um, and now let's get into some of the interesting things, such as uh, on tip ranks. Um, yeah, there's no like uh, analysis of how much it's going to go up, but they do think that, you know, the stock analysis is, it's a neutral. You know, it's not the best way to buy Bitcoin. It's just a way to buy Bitcoin. And if we look at the, uh, the moving averages of the trust, we can actually see that it's well above its 50-day and its 200-day moving average. Uh, that's low moving average. I actually did not realize that the Bitcoins were uh, trading at that low of volume at one point in the last 200 days. Like That's crazy. Um, now let's get into something really crazy. If you were to have bought when the Bitcoin uh, Grayscale ETF trust came out in June 2015, if you had invested uh, during that time like $10,000 into a portfolio of the trust, you would have today, which again is about, you know, almost uh, five and a half, six years later, close to six years later, that $10,000 would now be $624,000. Now, I'm not sure what that would be with actual Bitcoin, because again, this include this is a premium. So your balance would be less than the actual price of the Bitcoins if you had bought $10,000 worth, you know, like I said, like six years ago. So that's something to, that's something to consider as far as, well, this is probably a lower amount than actually buying, but again, it is an amount and it's a pretty high amount. It's 122% compound annual growth rate, and that is nothing to sneeze at over six years. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good growth rate. And if we go to the annual returns, as we saw in 2017, when Bitcoin had hit its first peak, it hit about 1,500% <laughs> return. So almost $20,000 got turned into $320,000, and that's just crazy. Um, you know, it did have that big drawdown year in 2018, like a lot of other things did. Um, but other than that, it has been, like I said, triple digit growth in the last six years. You know, 122% is nothing to sneeze at. And that's anyone would take that any day, even 35% in the first, you know, two months of uh, 2021. That's pretty good. Um, so these are all things to consider. I do, like I said, I own half in Cash App, half in the Bitcoin uh, grayscale trust um, and it, it's just a way to own it I would definitely say that buying through cash app has been better because of the uh, the lack of a premium that you have to pay like sure you pay like, like I said like a few dollars and a small fee depending on how much Bitcoin you uh, buy um, but that's not tacked into the recurring value of every time you're going in to buy Bitcoin like the grayscale uh, trust does so anyway let me know what you guys think let me know if you own this let me know if you own anything any bitcoin through cash app or coinbase and yeah i'll see you guys soon